Welcome back everybody, we are switching gears a little bit now because Cinema One, the owners of Digicel IMAX, Gemstone and 4D on Wednesday, launched the company's initial public offering. This means that from September 17th, Cinema One will be offering shares to members of the public for sale. And I have with me the managing executives of Cinema One, Brian Jara and Ingrid Jara. Good morning and welcome. Thank Good you. morning. Thank you. Tell me about this public offering. Well, Cinema One, we've been in business for seven years, uh, bringing a, a range of uh, movie formats to the landscape, IMAX, followed by Gemstone, Seatside Service, as well as now 4DX. Mm -hmm. And uh, essentially, we're looking to grow the business. And as part of that whole prospect, we've decided to democratize our shareholding and to invite the general public to invest in a growing business. And Cinema One, in that regard, is hopefully going to be the first to emerge on the SME exchange with an offering of 38% to the public for roughly 30 million TT, which is our target that the brokers have set up for us. What was the inspiration behind doing this? Sir? Um, we knew we, w we were a company that really never stood still, um, if I had to, to say it in a nutshell. We, we started with IMAX, mm -hmm. being the first giant screen on island. Um, we tend to be uh, a company that, that likes to be first. Um, so after we grew the, the three movie experiences at one location, we knew that we wanted to replicate that. And this was one way of achieving it. So it, it was a, a discussion that you would sit down and you would talk and, you know, we In want to do this. Strategy. And, and now you, you're offering shares basically to members of the public. Correct. Yes. We've always seen the business as a community asset. We continue to bring, uh, you know, upwards of 20,000 school children every year into the IMAX through our you know, good corporate sponsors, Atlantic and Digicel. And this becomes an extension of that in many ways so that the community asset notion gets extended to now shareholding for the general public. When you say community asset, what, 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 what do you mean by that? Um, the IMAX philosophy. Uh -huh. um, the IMAX has roots in educational content. It really started in museums. So like you'd go to a Smithsonian and see an IMAX movie about space, about the environment. Right. Um, so it starts in that, those roots. Um, so when we became um, owners of the F IMAX franchise, um, that philosophy just continued as part of the com company's culture of being an asset and wherever it, it exists. So that means over the, the years, IMAX has to be doing well. Yes, we've been a profitable business since year one. Um, I mean, the, the real driver, driver of the business would be the Hollywood pictures, you know, from your Marvel yeah. you know, studio brands, et cetera. Those bring in the, the masses and it creates a lot of the excitement and exhilaration. And I think the uniqueness of the IMAX format with all the patents and as well as our new gemstone format with, you know, a, a range of, uh, you know, fine dining options as well as a combination of a movie experience has really catapulted the business in a positive way. And you now have 40. Yes. How, how has that been going? I, I have been hearing a lot of talk that it is good. Uh, how is it going from the business aspect? Well, it has started quietly, but it's growing yeah. uh, in, in, in the West. Um, but it really is an extraordinary experience because it's bringing the movie to the seat. Mm -hmm. So um, when we do go upstairs and look at the crowds, it is a pure delight in terms of sitting. It's like a, a ride for an hour and a half or two hours long. Yeah. So it, it is pretty exciting. I think I looked at Jumanji in, in 4D when it came out, and it was pretty good. It was yes. a pretty good experience. I, I mean, if you haven't checked it out, I think people should check it out. You know, it's a different experience. It's, it's not just you sitting down on a chair and just looking at the screen. You actually feel the movements. There is water sprinkling on your face at times. Like <laughs> a lot of environments, yeah. there's fog, yeah. there's smell. So it really brings the movie to so your it, seat. It engages all of the senses. Yes, yes. a definition of immersive movie experience. Yeah. Yeah. And so you want to expand the business. It, it's about growing the business, and you're now offering 30, 38%, 30000000 million on the stock exchange. Correct. We are. Yes, we, we've identified a, a number of different opportunities for growth, both here in Trinidad as well as in the region. Mm -hmm. And you know, essentially, every smaller business is looking for a capital structure in order to really advance and grow more rapidly. And I think the, the great legislative framework that was put in place a number of years by the government is something that we've decided to really try and capitalize on and potentially emerge as the first, as well as to inspire many other SMEs to, to follow suit. Right, so what can members of the public get in return or what can they expect to get in return if they decide to... Dividend to yield as well as you know, capital appreciation over time. We think that at $10 a share, it's a favorably priced uh, 
security and that over time, hopefully with excellent management and, and direction of the business, it will grow. And uh, we really look at the formula for growth as more seats and strategic locations. We're already in the process of building out in Gulfview. So, uh, you know. Go people, city. Well, uh, go, yeah, yeah, go yes, city. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Adjacent to yes. Gulfview, right? So, yeah. um, you know, in the mall there. So we'll be bringing the gemstone experience to South as well. Because I don't think people would want to probably invest in something where they aren't sure that they are going to get something in, in return. return. Sure, Especially sure. with this economic times and people losing their jobs. You know, people are looking to invest, but where can I invest to get the best my money? Yes. Right. Well, the good thing is that, I mean, the, the movie business is a very recession-resistant industry historically. I mean, it's already over 40 billion U.S. globally. And it's, it's been a business that has gone through you know, numerous changes over the, the years, I'm talking in terms of an overall industry. And I think there's great comfort in participating in something that people do get a chance to experience on an ongoing basis. And it ultimately becomes a sense of affordable entertainment. Yeah, I wanted to reinforce that, you know, going to the movies is an uh, affordable luxury. Um, and movies have withstood all the different types of entertainment available to us. They've survived mm -hmm. DVDs, they've survived um, color TV, and even with all the competing um, media, um, people still want to go out and have a shared experience in a room, in a dark room. The popcorn tastes different. Um, and it's much more you know, uh, communal with everyone laughing at the same thing, with everybody crying at the same thing. So I, I, it, it withstands time. I love going time. to movies as well. Yes. It, it's always so good. And it, it's a good family activity to do as well. Right. You know, yes. you're in the family and you go home. On your way home in the vehicle, you could sit and chat about it. And, you know, instead of you going and lying by by, by the bow or something, you could go watch a movie. Correct, <laughs> correct, correct. And, and I mean, the movie industry has grown over time. Mm -hmm. um, well, from the cinema experience, you had the normal screen, and now you mm -hmm. went to 3D, IMAX, 4D. So it, it's evolving. Correct, correct. You certainly want to have a differentiated approach, I think, to be able to encourage new experiences. And um, you know, whether it's the, the first date out or whether it's a family affair, there's something unique about it. I mean, certainly IMAX brings a huge landscape, a wonderful canvas to experience movies in a different format. Mm -hmm. and, um, and similarly, 4DX and, and Gemstone do so as well. Now, I want to get some information. If people want to purchase shares, how do they go about doing that? Would you be able to provide that information? Sure. Well, our lead broker is First uh, Citizens, Citizens Investment, mm -hmm. Investment and Brokerage Advisory mm -hmm. Services. But there's also a number of other brokers who have signed on, Bor Securities, Wise, uh, Caribbean Stock Brokers. So the business has been a, you know, a profitable business since day one. So I think that has given great comfort to uh, the investment community that this is a business with the prospects for growth. And I think that's really what we're looking to be able to really engender and catalyze in a more rapid fashion through this stock market offering. Going through the, the process of going public, uh -huh. um, there a few documents so people will have access to the prospectus that can tell them the story about the business and you go to your stockbroker and they can a explain it a little more to you. So yeah. um, for yeah, citizens so like is the lead, um, you need to open a brokerage account and then you determine how much you would like to invest. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I have never been in the stock exchange yes. part of, of, right. of this. So for me, it, it sounds exciting. Mm -hmm. But I need to know that there is some kind of security for me at the end of it. Sure. And that is what you're saying, that the, the company has been profitable. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you expect it to grow further. And you know, it, is a, it is an endeavor that people should probably venture. Correct, correct. It should give comfort to the investing community that we have received stat fund approval, which mm -hmm. is pretty, pretty much the most rigorous level of approvals that companies can go through to allow pension funds and even insurance companies to invest in in our security. And I think that's based upon a, a history that extends beyond five years of, of profitability, albeit on a small basis, but we're a small business. But we're yeah. looking to really accelerate growth faster. So it is 38% for $30 million, $10 a share. Correct. That, that's correct. That mm -hmm. is correct. And it's expected to start on September 17th? Correct. correct. And to close on October 12th. So it's about a month of of, of engagement with the public about it. We're you know, more than happy to discuss in more detail with investors. We're inviting them to kind of a roadshow um, environment in our, in our theater mm -hmm. to be able to discuss the plans that the company has for growth and our trajectory. And I see Lisa and is standing there and she's nodding because I think that she might be interested 
in investing because I don't know if I if I invest if I buy some shares I might be able to get a couple of free IMAX tickets. <laughs> I just really want. To, <laughs> that's not that's not what it's about. It's about <laughs> growth and building your portfolio and you know expanding, which is what makes this so wonderful, Ingrid and Brian. Congratulations Thank you. on this Thank you. huge step. Yes, and you guys have been pioneers in the market of uh, with cinema with IMAX and with your luxury. Um, Yes, yeah, luxury VIP facilities. Cinemas. So thank you so much for coming on the program this thank morning. You for and us. congratulations once again. And you know, thank we'll you. be monitoring and we just want to have all yeah, the Because we need to find out how it goes. Yes. Yeah, for sure. We'll bring oh. it back. 30 yeah, percent, come back. thirty eight percent, thirty million, ten dollars a share. I'm sure people would invest. Yeah, yeah, it's a relatively small offer, but we think that uh, you know, in comparison to say NIF that came yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently. yeah. Yeah, but um, it's a good start for. I think there's some excitement in the market with people yes. looking for alternative opportunities for wealth Correct. creation. Exactly, yes. and this is probably one of them yeah. that they can take a look at. Yeah, yeah. because exactly. people are losing their jobs, and one of the discussions was, okay, they're going to get VSEP, for example, the refinery, petrochemical refinery workers, they're going to get their their VSEP, and yes. you know, where can I invest to get something long term? Yes, sure, on yeah. a piece of the movie magic, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, and on that note.